The vast majority of ideas, events, or proposals offered up with the proclamation that they will become a tradition fade away long before they attain that status. For the few that do stand the test of time and become part of the culture and fabric of a place like St. Peter's Prep, their origin is often forgotten or recalled with a mix of equal parts legend and wishful thinking, with an occasional fact. We can pinpoint the genesis of one cherished tradition, the Prep Spirit Awards. According to a 1978 article in the Hudson Dispatch, that was the year a Father's Club Spirit of Prep Award was first presented at the now-defunct year-end awards banquet. It was a time when both Prep's enrollment and its neighborhood were in decline. Prep athletics were not enjoying the successes that we've seen in the last 30 years, and Prep student attendance at sporting events was low for fear of being labeled a rah-rah. No doubt the late Father John Browning attended those banquets and appreciated what that award represented but he saw a distinct difference between the student who was well-known because he oozed prep spirit and the student who quietly spread prep spirit throughout the school. Father Browning saw a chance to recognize the young men who model for the community the qualities and values that define a prep student. Men who are open to growth, intellectually competent, religious, loving, and committed to doing justice. That is, students who, by what they do and how they do it, give life to our community. So in the fall of 1981, while he was principal, Father John Browning created the Prep Spirit Awards, recognizing several students at each of the four honors convocations that took place during the school year. It was his hope to pay particular attention to the unsung heroes among us, whose contributions make Prep such a special place. He wanted to recognize the boys who were usually overlooked because their deeds do not garner public attention. He wanted these young men to be selected by faculty and then to be recognized in front of the entire school where their selfless works could be read aloud, culminating in thunderous applause. A prep tradition was born, and the Spirit Award presentations have remained a beloved part of the prep culture for more than four decades. Now, there have been some changes over the years. Faculty originally submitted nominations. Later, students were encouraged to submit them as well, and today, most nominations come from classmates. At the outset, the principal called the nominations and selected the awardees. That changed to a committee, including seniors who received the award in their junior year, which reviews the nominations and selects the recipients. The principal once wrote and read the citations, while today, members of the committee write the citations and read them at the assemblies. And finally, the small lamp of learning plaque given to students was replaced in 2008 by a framed copy of their write-up. What has not changed? The reader begins. You listen closely to each word, trying to pick up a clue that will reveal the recipient's identity. Each detail eliminates a choice and narrows the field. Sometimes the answer comes quickly. Other times it remains hidden until the final lines. Something special about the Spirit Award is that so many fit the descriptions. So many can be called unsung heroes. So when a young man's name is called and his peers erupt into applause and perhaps a spontaneous standing ovation, It is not in recognition of a single act of kindness, or a heroic athletic performance, or a leadership position in a co-curricular, or an outstanding academic accomplishment. In most cases, the Spirit Award recipient has performed a variety of little tasks that individually would probably go unnoticed. Some have worked tirelessly in an assortment of co-curriculars. Some have helped the world beyond Grand and Warren through extensive community service and some have toiled in athletics without the reward of playing time or accolades. But on that particular day, we hear the name and think to ourselves, oh yeah, he does do a lot for prep, and we want to applaud. For most, if not all, of the Prep Spirit Award recipients, hearing their name and what nominators have said and taking in the ovation is the highlight of their time at St. Peter's. Thanks to Father Browning and successive administrations, The tradition lives on. The prep community continues to acknowledge and value the gifts that every student can contribute to the life of the school.